guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while it's probably been maybe like almost two weeks that i haven't uploaded and i missed you guys so much but you guys know like it was the holidays christmas came around my family was here with me so you know like i had to cook and spend time with them and all that good stuff but i'm ready to be back on my youtube channel and create some content for you guys so for today's video i am going to be doing a new year's look for you guys today so if you guys want to see what i come up with stay tuned and keep on watching so the primer that I am going to use today is going to be this one, the Infallible Glow Lock from L'Oreal. This primer, I've used it a couple of times and to tell you guys the truth, I really don't like it. I don't know, I just feel like it made it more dewier than what I was going for because I did purchase this one as well, this foundation. And this one's the Infallible Pro Glow in the number 208. It is a little bit darker for me. So I have been mixing it with, this one's the LA Girl Cosmetics Liquid Foundation and this one's in the shade Porcelain. I'm gonna go ahead and try that primer again. I mean, I don't wanna just let it go to waste, so I am gonna keep using it. I always like to go in with the Morphe setting spray before I do like go in and blend everything out. I don't know, I just feel like it makes it look a lot better. For my concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Cosmetics in the shade Yellow. So lately, I have been doing my face a little bit different. I do combine the concealer and my contour. And the contour I am going to use today is going to be the Dark Cocoa shade from LA Girl Cosmetics. And I will be applying it with this brush. This brush has been my favorite lately to contour. This one's in the number MB9. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this line as really sharp as I can. You guys are probably thinking like, oh my God, that's too much, but just wait till the end. At first, whenever I seen this method, I was like, oh my God, like this is too much. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to blend it out. But at the very end, everything goes all together really well. Now I'm just going to start blending out the contour first. So normally I wouldn't really do my makeup like this if I would just be, you know, like going out like to the store, just being here. This is more, you know, like for New Year's, for like a holiday look. So to set my concealer and everything, um, I am going to use a Pretty Vulgar. And this one I did receive in my Boxy Charm. I have used it maybe like a couple of times as well. And um, I don't know, it's been working okay. So I'm going to go ahead and keep trying it. Okay, so now on to my blush. The blush I am going to use today is going to be this one, the No Cosmetics one. And I believe we received this one and our boxy charm as well. I'm just applying it on my uh, Adam's apple. Oh <laughs> my god, on my apples. Uh, how do you say it? Your apple cheek? Apples? I don't know. But right here, you know, like, so you kind of want to smile. And you guys know my favorite highlighter is a Pure Cosmetics Sculpture Palette. And it would be this one. I don't know, I just feel like this is like the only one that I've actually tried from all of the highlights that I've used ever since I started doing makeup. And it's the only one that actually just like... Oh, I just love it. If you guys have any recommendations that you guys have been using, you know, like these bomb ass highlights and you guys really like them and think that they're so good, let me know. That way I can go ahead and purchase it. I don't know, I just feel like this one does the trick, but I am open to new suggestions. So this pretty much sums up the whole face. I am going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I am going to do this eye off camera as well. And I'll be right back to show you guys what we are going to do on this side. Okay, so I'm back. 
The palette that I am going to be using today is going to be the Morphe 35M palette. I haven't used this palette in a while and I forgot how much I really like it. It's so pretty. This is how it looks like in the inside. So the first color I will be taking is going to be this brown. I just want to start packing it in the outer corner. Once you have it like this, you want to start flicking it out. And then I'll be taking this color for my second shade. And you just want to focus it on the outer corner first and then just kind of work towards the inner corner. Third color, I'll be using this plum color. And again, focusing it towards the outer corner first. And flicking. And then you do want to apply a little bit of black shade, shade, shade just to intensify this outer look. Okay, so now I will be cutting my crease, and you guys already know what I used to cut my crease is the PDWE space. I do like to pull, and I know it's bad, but I don't know, I just feel more comfortable with it. So it's kind of going back and forth. I'm using the same color that I took at first, so I will be taking this brown again. I don't want to apply any shadow back here in the wing, just because that's part of the look that I'm going for. Just kind of pretending like I'm following a line, drawing my wing. I'm going again with the burgundy color. I'll be taking that plum color as well. For my last color, I will be taking that black. Okay, so now that I have that, I am going to apply like a bone color up here. I'm using the Anastasia Renaissance and I'm going in with this one. I will be applying my lashes. The lashes I will be using are these. They're from Better Be Lashes. Look how beautiful they are. Look how beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for my lash to dry a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye. Okay, so pretty much what I'm doing on my under eye is gonna be the same stuff that I followed at the very top, the same color, so I'm gonna go in order. So I'm going in with that brown, the one that we used at the very beginning. And you do want to connect it to this wing out here. Guys, and if you do have any fallout, and I'm saying it because I do have a little bit right here, you can always take a brush with translucent powder and just dust it off. And then for my inner corner, I'm going in with my favorite highlight. And then for my eyeliner, I did use the NYX Vivid Eyeliner, and this one's in the shade Vivid Escape. Okay guys, I thought I was recording this whole time, <laughs> and I was recording this whole time, and it didn't record. The only thing I did was apply my lashes, and then I applied the NYX Eyeliner, and then I was saying, um, you can pretty much combine this whole look with like a nude color, and that's what I was going for, but like I say, I'm always extra, like, <laughs> I don't know, I just love those colors. Um, I decided to go in with this black Anastasia shade. Um, 
but you guys don't have to do that. Like if you guys do want to recreate this look, you guys can always go in with the nude and it'll look really, really pretty as well. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I missed you guys so much. I really did. And I just want to go ahead and take the time and thank all of you guys, everybody that has been subscribing to my channel or is subscribed, um, the ones that have the little bell to get notified every time I do upload a video. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you're still watching my content, please subscribe. I would seriously appreciate it and then hit the little bell to get notified. And I just want to say thank you again. Thank you to everyone. Um, it's going to be a year that I started my YouTube and me and my brother were talking about it the other day. Um, I started with zero subscribers and right now I have a little over 600 subscribers, which might not seem a lot, but YouTube is a lot harder than I thought, you know, because there's so much competition and stuff. But this is what I love to do and this is my passion and that's why I really really appreciate every single one that is subscribed to my channel and actually does watch my content. Make sure with God be willing I do plan on coming back and doing a lot more videos and you know like just still working hard at it and just enjoying my passion. I really hope that you guys really enjoy your guys' new years with all your loved ones and all your friends and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!